Hi everyone, I'm Mrs. Streck. I teach math and I wanted to show you a, a game that you could be playing over your break or throughout the school year. So this game is called Multiplication Squares. You may have played squares as a child where you connected the sides and, and saw who could fill in the spaces. Uh, this game feels very similar except it includes multiplication. So what you're gonna want is the game board, um, a different color marker for each person playing, and then two dice. If you don't have dice, you could use um, cards. Like if you have a deck of cards, you could use those. You could just write on post-its, the numbers one through six. If you only have one dice, that's okay. You can roll one and then uh, roll that same one again. So uh, for this game, the way it would go is player one would roll their dice and get six and five and, uh, and think, what is six times five? You could do your count buys. You could count by five, six times. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Oh, six times five is 30. So I'll choose a 30 and draw just one line. And it would now be the other person's turn, player two's turn. Player two rolls, they get two times two. Two, two times is four. So they may choose to draw this line on the four. It's now player one's turn again. Two times two, that is four. So I might be player one here. Ooh. Three times five, five, 10, 15. I am player two. Four times five, five, 10, 15, 20. As player one, I might draw my line here. I think you see how this game works. When someone closes a square, they get to color it in. Four times two. They get to color that in. And um, at the very end, the person who has the most squares colored in is the winner. Four times two, eight. So a, you could play this with 10 people if you wanted to. Uh, it would just be a matter of um, having enough colors to represent each person. Um, your child has played this already in my classroom, so they should know how to do it. Uh, but if you have any questions, you can always reach out to me. And I hope that this gives you an opportunity to work on some basic multiplication facts while having a little bit of fun with your family. If you do choose to play this game and you do complete the game board, please return it so that I can reward your child for doing some extra math learning outside of the classroom. I hope that you have a wonderful time away from school and I look forward to seeing everybody back after break.